First, episode two, Bubbles All the Way Up. Five minutes until we open, everybody. Let me see your best customer smiles. Then we'll work on that. Maybe you should stay in the office for today. Oh, but Gia, serving customers is my passion. Well, in that case, you could stand outside and offer out free samples. Uh, the office sounds great. Nah, those taxes aren't going to do themselves. I can stand outside. I'm absolutely brilliant at getting people's attention. I've actually been uh, learning to juggle. Do you want a sneak preview? Where did you get those juggling balls from? Another time, maybe. Well, it's good to know that if this business fails, you have a promising career in a circus. Thank you. Your compliment has been acknowledged and filed away for future enjoyment. This business isn't going to fail. Well, not according to my calculations, but, but there are always unknowns. Well, on that positive note, it's opening time. Buzz off, Ben. Yes, boss. Ooh, boss. I like that. So, how long is the normal wait before our first customer? Oh, it depends. Some days it's like, whoa, slow down, everybody. There's plenty of bubble tea to go around. Some days it's more... Quiet. Well, how does one usually occupy time when it's quiet? Tidy up, prep the ingredients. Oh, do you want to learn how to make the pearls? Oh, yeah, you bother making those. Well, yeah, it's way cheaper than buying them. No, oh, I've never bothered. I've always used my mouth pearls. Mouth pearls? Mouth pearls. Is this not a human thing? That's culinary delicacy on my home planet. I have a small pouch right here in my inner cheek, see? Generating absolutely delicious mouth pearls. The flavour is, I'm told, not dissimilar to uh, matcha nebula berries. Oh, perhaps you'd better stick to the ingredients we have in stock. Like those blueberries. Ah, uh, I have encountered these blueberries previously. They're purple on the outside, green inside, the juice is red, and they're absolutely never blue, yes? This would be entirely dissatisfactory for our fruit. I suppose that is a bit odd, yeah, but you must have had all sorts of weird alien plants too, back home. No, all Zix fruit is under strict regulation. Perfect spheres, primary or secondary colours only, and ten seeds per cubic inch. We couldn't really regulate our fruit back home. Oh, you have to teach all plants obedience right from birth. Otherwise they go off the rails. I'm starting to think that we're not talking about the same thing at all. Oh, a customer. Uh, can I take that order? Pretty please? Sure thing. Do it just how we practice and I'm sure you'll be great. Okay, okay. I've got this. Deep breaths. Left lung. <sighs> right lung. <sighs> Middle lung. Hello, welcome to Bubble Bursts, Bubble Tea Experts. What can I get for you? Large match of tea. Cold. And will you be dining in at our fun establishment? You want me? Drop the accent. But I did my research. All the waiters talk like this in your shows, huh? But we're not in a show. <sighs> have in or take away? If you can stop lollygagging about, I'll have it take away, please, and sharpish. Payment here, please. Yeah, cheers, mate. No worries. Have an absolutely wonderful day. I did it. You sure did. Good job. You know, that wasn't hard at all. I have, how do you humans say it? I have got this. Now I'll just reset the machines now and, uh... Ah. It's not supposed to make that noise, is it? Sim Marie, that was the gravity regulator. The what? The thing that stops us all floating away. Turn it back on! Okay, okay. Did that work? Why are my folders starting to float? No! Why are my starting to float? It must be jammed. I knew I shouldn't have skipped maintenance last you month. You skipped maintenance? Well, I didn't know somebody was going to come along and turn off our gravity. Should I go and get them now? 
God, you can't. Turning off a gravity also seals the doors, so the rest of the station isn't affected. Great. Well, anyone got an engineering qualification they'd like to tell us about? No? We just need to unblock the system. But this is why you don't employ extraterrestrials. Don't be so prejudiced, Ben. It was an accident. It could happen to anyone. And I am going to fix it. Don't worry. Where do we keep our tools? We're a bit low on tools. Oh, there's a tool right there. Two of them. Not helpful. I have some knives out back, but that's about it. Right, I'll grab them. Is it, uh, is it a problem that the tapioca pearls are starting to float? The pearls? Oh, shit. Get back in there. You tell them, boss. This is serious, Ben. They're small enough that they could get into the air vents and cut off our oxygen supply. Hurry up and unblock the button. What do you think we're fucking doing? You stop the pearls killing us and me and Boo Boo the Clown here will fix the system. Right, I've got the panel off, but I can't see any blockage. Those wires up there look pretty twisted. Oh, yeah, you're right. I... No, I can't reach them. Get back here, you tapioca little shit. I can try. My arms are a superior length to your human ones. Just try not to break it more. Whoa! That one was close. Hurry up, please. I've stopped any more escaping, but the ones that did are slippery fuckers. Ben, I'm going to need to use all four of my hands. I need you to hold me down and stop me floating off. Yeah, all right. I've got you. Why are your hips so slimy? Oh, God, God, I'm not... This floating thing is kind of fun, to be fair. If we weren't in a life or death situation. Also, why is our ceiling so dirty? Oh, God. Well, maybe if you got maintenance in, it would have been cleaned. I did it successfully. They are untangled. Great. Oh, let's put the panel back on and get our gravity back. Wait, wait a second. Wait till I get... Down. Oh. Um, sorry. Oh, my gosh. Are you hurt? I'm okay. Just a scratch or two. Wow, that was terrifying. As custom dictates, I must offer a life apology. On my home planet, such a grievous wrong would result in severe punishment, isolation, torture, or revocation of soul privileges by the mother brain. I am prepared to accept punishment perhaps even more harsh from my new employer, as Zix custom dictates. <laughs> I don't think we need any punishment, Zimri. It was just as much my fault for not getting in maintenance properly. But you know what? We handled that pretty well. Can you be less optimistic for, like, one second? Never. Let's just hope no potential customers saw you floating on the ceiling and swearing at a bunch of bubbles. <laughs> I don't know. All press is good press? Well, not if the press is, like, five different health and safety violations. I only counted three. Oh, well, that's all right, then. <laughs> I suggest we close for today, tidy up, and schedule that maintenance appointment. I'll tidy up. You two have some, uh, time off. It's my shop, I should say. Sorry, boss, but your arm is bleeding quite badly. No, it... Oh. Okay. Oh, um, go on. Do you have a, a first aid kit? That's a silly question, of course you don't. I didn't think bubble tea would be dangerous. Oh, fuck, okay, um, I I've got one in my quarters. Let's go and get you bandaged up. I'm sure Zimri can manage to tidy up without causing any more damage. I certainly can. You can trust me. Oh, fine. Bleeding all over shop is probably bad for business. Let's go. Sit there and I'll get my kit. Okay, the disinfectant that's going to sting, but it won't sting as much as losing an arm due to sepsis. You're very comforting. Really? No. Ow! Sorry. <sighs> no, it's okay. Thanks for everything. I'm new to all this responsibility. Yeah, we all are. I mean, I just got out of uni. I don't think Zimri would know what responsibility was if it bit them on all four arms. But I think the three of us combined will be competent enough. How come you wanted to work for me and not one of those big companies who can provide, like, job security benefits? I mean, you're qualified enough. What, like space bucks? Gee. I hate those corporations. They're faceless, soul-crushing tyrants with no ethical code. I simply couldn't live with myself if I worked there. It's just a coffee shame. Calm down. You wouldn't understand! Listen, I've bandaged it as best as I can. Thank you. 
I'm gonna head home and rest. You do that. Um, I'll, I'll make sure we get maintenance to check our gravity regulation and anything else. Thanks. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, boss. This has been Burst, written and directed by Marina McCready. It was performed by Marina McCready, James Rogers and Thomas Rosenberg. This episode was edited by M. Jones. Want tips on producing mouth pearls? Like our page on Facebook for updates. Great. Oh, let's put the panel back on and get our gravity back. Oh, maybe while you're at it, Zimri, get a fucking towel, you slippery fuck. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no.